In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on October 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Arizona Coyotes vs. St. Louis Blues In a Central Division showdown, two teams are eager to secure a win as they clash in the Gateway City. The Arizona Coyotes are hitting the road to face the St. Louis Blues on Thursday night. Arizona is coming off a tough 1-0 shutout loss on the road against the Islanders. Meanwhile, St. Louis managed to triumph 2-1 in a shootout at home against Seattle in their most recent game. Over the last 10 meetings between these teams, Arizona holds a 5-2-3 advantage and went 2-0-1 against the Blues. Blues last season, including a convincing 6-2 victory at home in their most recent matchup on March 7. The Blues have played two games this season, and both have been characterized by low scoring. They lost 2-1 to, to the Dallas Stars in a shootout in their season opener and secured a 2-1 to one shootout win over the Seattle Kraken in their most recent game. Their defense has shown strength, and the goaltending has been solid, but concerns linger regarding their offense. In the last game, they managed only one goal during the shootout, which proved sufficient. In this matchup, the key will be getting their offense off to a fast start and putting pressure on Arizona's defense. The Coyotes began the season with a victory over the New Jersey Devils but have struggled offensively since. They suffered a 2-1 defeat against the New York Rangers two games ago, and in their last outing against the New York Islanders, they were held scoreless, losing 1-0. Against the Islanders, they managed just 14 shots on target, a paltry offensive output. Arizona desperately needs to find a way to ignite their offense to avoid another challenging game. Both teams have encountered offensive struggles early in the season. Arizona, still on the road, faces the challenge of completing their road trip on a positive note. The Coyotes might be fatigued from their extended road stretch to start the season, which could work against them. St. Louis, enjoying the home advantage, capitalized on it in their recent win against the Kraken. Despite Pavel Buchnevich likely missing the game with an upper body injury, the Blues possess the talent to find the back of the net. While both teams have their strengths and weaknesses, the Blues appear to be the more balanced team. Their solid defense, led by Bennington, gives them an edge in this matchup. The Coyotes have struggled to generate offense, scoring only four goals in three games and have room for improvement on the penalty kill. Additionally, they face a goaltender who is allowing fewer than a goal per game. The Blues, with home ice advantage and recent form on their side, seem like the safer bet. Given the Coyotes' issues on the penalty kill and their inconsistency in front of the net, they present a risky choice. I anticipate the Blues to capitalize on their home turf and improve to 2-0 to 1 this season. So the St. Louis Blues money line is our full game game side pick. Arizona has seen the underbet cash in two out of their three games this season. The Coyotes have averaged 3.33 goals per game, and this figure remains consistent even when they play on the road, as they haven't had a home game yet. St. Louis has stayed under the total in both of their games this season, averaging just two goals per game. This number remains constant when they play at home. Both teams have excelled defensively but have struggled to ignite their offense. Arizona's offense has struggled, and the Blues haven't fared much better in the scoring department. Expect a limited number of shots on goal from both teams in this game. Until we witness an offensive breakthrough from either side, it's prudent to lean towards the under in this matchup. A low-scoring outcome, such as a 1-0 final, wouldn't be surprising. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Winnipeg Jets Tonight, we have an exciting rematch from last year's first-round playoff series as the Vegas Golden Knights take on the Winnipeg Jets. In that playoff series, the Golden Knights emerged victorious in five games after losing the first game at home, going on to win the next four and advance to the second round. Additionally, Vegas managed to sweep the regular season series against the Jets last year with scores of 5-2, 2-1, and 6-5. The Vegas Golden Knights are off to a perfect 4-0-0 start this season. They recently secured a 3-2 shootout victory over the Dallas Stars, coming from behind as they trailed 2-1 in the third period. 
Vegas dominated Dallas in terms of shots, outshooting them 34-26, and delivered 40 hits in the win. Their flawless season also includes victories over Anaheim, San Jose, and Seattle. Currently, the Golden Knights are averaging 3.5 goals per game while allowing just 1.25 goals against per game. Their power play success rate is 13.3%, and their penalty kill stands at a perfect 100%. Chandler Stephenson has led the Golden Knights this season with two goals, three assists, and six shots on goal. Adam Hill, the projected starting goalie for Vegas, boasts a 3-0-0 record, a 1.31 goals against average, and a .951 save percentage this season. On the other hand, the Winnipeg Jets have started the season with a 1-2-0 record. Their most recent game ended in a 5-1 loss to the Los Angeles Kings, with the Jets conceding the first five goals of the match and managing to avoid a shutout with a goal in the final two minutes. Winnipeg was outshot 29-27 and struggled on the power play, going 0-4. The Jets began the season with a loss to Calgary but managed to secure a win against the Florida Panthers in their second game. Currently, the Winnipeg Jets are scoring 3.33 goals per game but allowing 4.67 goals against per game. Their power play success rate is 14.3% and their penalty kill stands at 80%. Kyle Connor has led the Jets this season with three goals, one assist, and 14 shots on goal. Laurent Brossoit, making his first appearance of the year, is the projected starting goalie for Winnipeg. Vegas has been in remarkable form, winning four consecutive games this season. Their offense has been solid, consistently scoring at least three goals per game. While their special teams have room for improvement, they have been successful on over 18% of their power play opportunities. In contrast, the Jets, although effective on the penalty kill, have struggled defensively, allowing four or more goals in three straight games, which suggests they may face defensive challenges in this matchup. In terms of offense, Vegas holds a significant advantage. Last season, they ranked 14th in the NHL in goals scored, generated the 16th most expected goals, and registered the 10th most high-danger shots. In contrast, the Jets struggled offensively, ranking 12th fewest in goals scored in the NHL. The Jets appear to be in a challenging situation, and their recent performance doesn't inspire much confidence. In contrast, the Golden Knights are on a hot streak and possess a strong offensive lineup that could turn this game into a high-scoring affair. Adden Hill's strong goaltending could make a significant difference. With the Golden Knights' penalty kill operating at 100%, the Jets may find it difficult to capitalize on power plays. Overall, the Golden Knights have an edge in most aspects of the game. This matchup promises exciting end-to-end -end action, with the Golden Knights aiming to extend their unbeaten streak while the Jets look to get their season back on track. Considering the circumstances, the Vegas Golden Knights are the superior team in this game, and I anticipate them securing a comfortable road victory, much like their quick elimination of Winnipeg in the first round last season. So the Vegas Golden Knights' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams boast strong defenses and goaltenders. Vegas gave up the 10th fewest goals in the NHL last season and has not allowed more than two goals in any of their four games this year. Their defensive prowess is further evident in that they allow the fifth fewest expected goals and the sixth fewest high danger shots in the league. The Jets also demonstrated solid defense, giving up the 11th fewest goals in the NHL last season. They conceded the 15th fewest expected goals and the eighth fewest high danger shots. Both defenses and goaltenders in this game are exceptional, and this contest is likely to be a low-scoring battle between Adden Hill and Connor Hellebike. Scoring opportunities will be scarce here in this one. Given the strong defensive capabilities on both sides, under the projected total is our full-game total pick. Dallas Stars vs. Anaheim Ducks A Western Conference clash is set to unfold as the Dallas Stars hit the road to take on the Anaheim Ducks in the Golden State. The Stars are coming off a close 3-2 shootout loss on the road against the Vegas Golden Knights in their most recent game. On the other hand, the Ducks secured an impressive 6-3 home victory against the Carolina Hurricanes in their last contest. In the last 10 meetings between these teams, the Dallas Stars have been dominant, holding an 8-2 advantage. This includes winning two out of three games against the Ducks last season, with the most recent matchup resulting in a 3-2 shootout victory for the Stars at home on February 6th. 
The Stars have had a mixed start to the season, with one win and one shootout loss. Their offensive production has been a concern, as they've only managed to score four goals in total this season. Their lone win came in a shootout, and in their recent matchup against the Vegas Golden Knights, they netted goals in the second and third periods but ultimately fell short in the shootout, scoring just one compared to Vegas's two. The goal scorers for the Stars were Craig Smith and Joe Pavelski, while Jake Odinger put up a solid performance, saving 32 of the 34 shots he faced. In contrast, the Ducks had a slow start to the season, struggling to score in their opening game against the Vegas Golden Knights. However, they showed an impressive offensive display in their recent victory against the Carolina Hurricanes. The Ducks netted three goals in the first period and maintained their lead throughout the game. Chivo Teravainen was a standout with two goals and three shots on goal. On the other hand, the Ducks faced some goaltending challenges, as Antti Ranta allowed 19 goals out of the 23 shots he faced. It's evident that improved goaltending will be crucial for their success in this upcoming game. Anaheim's recent win over the Hurricanes was undoubtedly an upset, but it's essential to note that Carolina was playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. The Ducks, despite the rest advantage, will encounter a formidable Dallas team with a strong defensive presence. Although the Stars put up a valiant effort against the Golden Knights before losing in a shootout, they now have a day of rest on their side, which could make it challenging for the Ducks to compete at the same level. Considering Jake Odinger will likely be in goal for the Stars instead of Antti Ranta, it's expected to be a much tougher challenge for the Ducks to score goals in this game. The Stars have been dominant in their recent head-to-head -head meetings, winning all but one of their last eight encounters. Moreover, the favorite has come out victorious in 40 of their last 53 overall meetings. With superior depth throughout their lineup and a substantial advantage in goal, this matchup provides the Stars with an opportunity to assert their dominance in the 2023-2024 season. So the Dallas Stars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When it comes to totals, Dallas has stayed under in both of their games this season. The Stars have seen an average total of three goals per game, though this number increases to four goals in their single road contest. Meanwhile, Anaheim has seen a split in totals in their two games this season, averaging seven goals per game. However, their home win against Carolina resulted in a total of nine goals. Notably, seven of the last eight meetings between these teams, including all three last season, went under the total. Given the .949 save percentage, for Dallas and the .917 mark for Anaheim in the early season, both teams have demonstrated their defensive prowess and the ability to keep the scores low. This contest has the makings of a low-scoring affair, with the potential for a final score of 3-1 or 4-1. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know. 